Nikki, like, uh, well, I'm glad to have you here today. We are going to look at your putting. As most of you out there watching this, I think you would agree that putting is, is a really focal point of making sure that we shoot those scores. Okay? And I know, like you said, your, your pros in your golf game is really ball striking. And I've seen it firsthand. It's, it's amazing what you can do with that golf club in your hand, the iron, the driver. As a 14-year-old, I mean, it's, it's impressive. So now we're here today to discuss about putting. One of the most focal points that I think a lot of us make faults in is not looking at the grip posture of how the best players actually putt and how they set up into the putting stroke. Um, all of us go on Instagram or YouTube and look at full swings. They don't pay enough attention to what, uh, what we do here with the flat stick. So today, Nikki, I really want to make sure and, and get you squared up and get you going where you can be very consistent putter and, and really drop those scores, okay? So let's go ahead and set up here and make a stroke. Right. Not bad, not bad. As I go over here towards the computer, what I'm going to be looking for is two parameters, okay? And what I mean by that is, as, as I've studied the golf swing over time, the two things that I really look for in the setup. I look at your right arm as a right-handed putter, what kind of angle we form, and then I also look at your spine angle, okay? So as I go ahead and set up this, uh, as, as we measure your angle from your top of your shoulder, down to your elbow and down to your wrist, okay? We have a 135 degree angle. It's actually pretty good. So of all the studies that we've done here in the past, we know that Tiger Woods, um, Rory McIlroy, all those great putters, Lydia Ko, their right arm structure is gonna be 135 degrees or less, okay? That's very important. Why is that important? because that allows us our shoulders to use our shoulders a little bit better than just our hands. When we measure the average player that's got a 10 or more handicap, their right elbow, their right arm structure is gonna have 151 degrees or more. So basically up and down. That's why they can't really control that putter too well. So Nikki, you've done a great job here. Now let's measure your spine angle here. So we know the parameters, and I know the parameter I'm looking for is 113 degrees to 123 degrees, okay? As I go ahead and measure from the back of her neck down to her tailbone, we have 137 degrees, okay? So, as a talented player as Nikki is, we know and I know for a fact that she she can work that setup pretty well. But Nikki, what I want to do here is let's go ahead and pull the putter out in front of you here, out in front of your chest like this, okay? Now what I want you to do is slowly bring it towards you and you're going to form like a 90 degree angle with the right arm. Very soft arm, soft shoulders, okay? So as you go ahead and now we're going to tilt here, okay? There we go, good. Which gets you in a much better posture, gets your spine at a better angle. Again, having this good spine angle is going to promote better usage of the shoulders, okay? That's important. Now the other thing is that what I'm going to look for here, I'm going to go ahead and put my hand behind her, her right side here and go ahead and stroke it and maintain that spine angle. There we go. Good. Now let's look at that measurement there. This looks very good here, Nikki. So we're at 128 degrees. And with her stature, I'm actually going to leave that alone, okay? Because I already know her right arm strength is really good. So we're going to leave that. The only one thing we're going to add to your, your, your setup here, okay, is going to be the pelvis move. So as we get set up here, as I go ahead and I push back my pelvis just a hair here, you'll notice, and you guys can try this at home, just by moving the pelvis back, that actually locks your lower body from moving. When you're out here, it actually moves a little too much, okay? So what we're wanting to do is stabilize the lower body, okay? So again, just by moving the pelvis back and having that 135 degree or less on the arm structure here, we're gonna look very solid. So, great job, Nikki. Let's go ahead and set up one more time here. I'm gonna get a ball for you. And I just want you to feel like that pelvis is moving back just a little bit, okay? There you go, good. There we go, that looks great. Good, very nice. Now let's go ahead and look at that. Now as we analyze the swing, 
Our focal point is going to be right here at the hips. And I want you to understand what happens as she strokes this now, okay? Not much happens. Very stable. That looks really good. I make a great job. So for all you folks out there trying to understand how do I become a better putter, why don't we just go back to the basics and look at how our setup is. Our setup is very important, okay? That is, I don't care if you're hitting a seven iron, how diligent are you when you set up to your iron? Very diligent, right? Yeah, exactly, you go through your process. Why not go through the same process when you're putting? I see too many amateurs walking in here and just slouching over the ball and then wondering why their stroke is looking wobbly. So Nikki, I wanna explain one last thing here about our putter, okay? As you become, as you continue this, this journey of becoming a, a professional golfer, it's really important to understand how, the tool and the makeup that you have in your hand here. As we all look here, this shaft has what, Nikki? Is it straight up and down or does it have an angle to it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I hear too many times I'm working on a stroke of straight back and straight through. Well, now let me ask you this, Nikki. Is my shoulder designed to go up and down as much as it can? Or do I have more of a radius turn with the shoulders? Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. So we have two things going for us. We have a shaft that's going at an angle. Now we have our anatomy that's designed to maximize rotation here. But then I got somebody working on the straight back and straight through even. So as I do that, Nikki, so if you go ahead and stand over here for a second. If I work on a straight back and straight through here with a slanted shaft here, my putter head is going to go where? To the left to the left and outside a little bit, right? You see that? Because that stool is not designed to go straight back and straight through. It's designed to arc a little bit, okay? So if you watch me here, I get in a good posture, move my pelvis back, relax my shoulders, and then if I just ever so slightly, not thinking about anything, that putter arcs naturally because I have a tool that's designed to arc, and then I have an anatomy that's designed to move in a radius motion, not in up and down. It can, obviously, if we need to pick up something, but we're, that's not what we're doing with the putter head. So I just really want you to remember that as, as you continue through this. Um, if you do this, I guarantee you someday all of us here will be watching you on TV and probably holding up the U.S. Open Trophy. So we're excited about this whole process and I'm excited to continue working with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.